Okay class, so we've got our basic features laid out, got them kind of chopped down into shape. Uh, next stop is going to be this right here where we get them kind of smoothed in, we get some of the skeletal features started. Uh, so let's get going with that. Um, we're, we're not going for super realistic, but like you see kind of this skull here, but we do want to have a few features of that, so I'll kind of reference him as we go. Um, something you can see that these two have in common are, you know, cheekbones and that sort of stuff. So let's get going on that. Uh, first thing I want to do is get rid of all these sharp edges. So uh, I'm just going to use um, my thumb and start knocking those down and start rounding those out. So when I look down from the top, you can see I already rounded this side. This side's a little square. So I'm going to come back in, kind of smoosh and round those and refine the edge of the nose and this spot right here and really just get it uh, really rounded out so I don't see those sharp corners. Uh, the other thing I'd like to do is if we look at um, the eyes, I want to make just one more adjustment here. Um, so you can see the, uh, the eyes on this uh, more realistic looking skull kind of like aviator uh, shades. So you can adjust your eye shape a little bit by just kind of pushing around like that. The other thing you can do, we dented like this um, to get kind of this edge and this edge kind of matching what we want and maybe kind of what we see right there. You can switch and kind of use a little bit of pushing in there and then pushing into the corner with that thumb. So again, switch sides. I'm going to push this thumb here. I'm going to push that in a little bit just to kind of get that a little more to my liking. None of your the eyes aren't going to be all the same. Everybody's got different size thumbs and just kind of using just a reference just to get it just a little less cartoony. But we do want to make sure they're symmetrical. So keep working to make sure they're symmetrical. Um, next thing we're going to do is get those cheekbones I was talking about. So I'm going to use a pencil. You can use an embossing tool or a rubber tip shaper and I'm going to draw a little bit darker so that you can see it in the video here but I'm going to go about a half an inch or so around the eye. I guess I need to draw that just a tiny bit darker so you can see what I'm doing but you should just make it real real light. Okay, Drawing around the eye there uh, and then from the side again matching this dude here I'm just going to kind of draw a triangle that swoops up again it just gives a little indication of the uh, cheekbone and how that comes back here and so I can create that now by using my thumb and denting in right there coming along the top denting in there as well and again I already did the other side but that creates just a little bit of a uh, raised area around there. Again, it should not be super obvious. Uh, it should be subtle. And I'm going to go back in and round those or smooth those lines out a little bit. But I do want to see just a little bit of that. And then I, w I don't want to see that line where you can kind of see it right there. So blend that away. Uh, for this part right here, the lower part, uh, really is the jaw. So I can come in here and start really more aggressively blending that so that it smooths into this area here. And again, I, once I've drawn, once I've done this, I don't need these lines anymore, so I can kind of erase them. They're not all going to be the same. Don't worry about it. Just trying to get a little indication of that cheekbone and the jaw right here. Okay. So obviously I continue to work that a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> next step, we're going to get the nose laid out and where that mouth line is laid out. So uh, the nose, as you can kind of see, and this is kind of an upside down heart. And I want it to start, you know, not quite halfway up the eye, maybe just a little bit, but it definitely shouldn't be below it. So I'm going to draw this upside down heart here. And again, tool of choice is a doll pencil or an embossing tool or a rubber tip shaper. Uh, so we'll do more with that later. And then the other thing I want to do is get my uh, teeth drawn across there. 
Uh, before I do that, I really want to make sure this area is smooth because what we're going to do with our teeth here is really going to be kind of a uh, permanent. And you can see this is still a little on the soft side, which is okay. But I want to get that smoothed out across there as best I can. And I'm going to use the back of the knife and I'm going to go about halfway from the bottom of the chin to the bottom of the nose. And I'm just going to rock that around to one side. Rock that around to the other side. Again, I was using the dull side of the knife and curving that around there. And you can see he's a little crooked. So I would erase that and try that again uh, in my case. So I'm going to erase that line and, and, try, and try that one more time. All right, go team.